telling you lots of cool things about fire safety. Did you know that every year hundreds of kids are hurt in fires? But kids can do something to stop them too. There's some cool rules about fire safety. And if you learn them, you could be a deputy fire marshal. And even teach your family what to do. Check out this free deputy fire marshal's kit with cool stuff to help you. Get a pencil and write down this address, or ask a grown-up to help you, and we'll send you one. If you don't have a pencil, don't worry. We'll show you the address later. See more smoke. Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. Did you know that many fires started because kids played with matches and lighters? It's really sad. The fire started with matches and lighters for thousands of people last year. Like parents and grandparents? And brothers and sisters. If you ever see matches or lighters, don't touch them. Uh-oh! Somebody left out matches and a lighter. Remember? Wow! Keep your eyes open, and if you see these, tell a grown-up right away. But never touch them, and you'll be a real superhero. Like a deputy fire marshal? Exactly! Touch matches or ladders, tell a grown up instead. Be cool about fire safety. Be cool. Sounds like a fire in progress. Let's check it out. Who's a hydrant? What's happening? We're not sure, but someone playing with matches may have started it. That's terrible. You know it, and it was out of control in just a few minutes. You guys need more water? Okay, here it comes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, Jose. Whoa, whoa. Hope you get that fire under control. We'll check back with you later. Muy bien. Very good, eh? We'll check on that fire later. But now, here's something cool that can warn you about fire. It's one of the most important safety devices you can have in your home. A smoke detector. Ow, I hate smoke. Who are you? See more smoke. Smoke detector. <laughs> the more smoke I see, the more noise I make. And I see more smoke coming from that toaster. <gasps> Thanks for warning us, Seymour. That's my job. <coughs> I hate smoke. It's disgusting. <coughs> it gives me a headache. So whenever I see it or smell it, I make this noise to warn you. Because where there's smoke, there may be fire. Good tip, Seymour. That's a different noise. What does that mean, Seymour? Now, if you hear me chirping, that could mean two things. That could mean, well, all of a sudden you bought a bird that you didn't know about, or it could mean that my batteries are low. Go tell your parents that I need new batteries. How many smoke detectors do you have in your home? Count them. Yeah, you count them. Is there one outside your bedroom? Is there? There should be. Tell your parents. You'll see more of me later. Be cool about fire safety. Do you know how to escape from your home if there's a fire? You gotta have a plan. <laughs> they didn't have a plan, but these people do. You gotta have a plan. Grown-ups can make it, and firemen can help. Okay, in case of a fire, you and your sister to go out this door. Okay? Or we can always go out that way. We have two exits, okay? We need two ways out. Makes perfect. It could save your life and your family. 
So tell your parents, we gotta have a plan. You gotta have an escape plan, and you be a step ahead. Be cool about fire safety. Be cool. We're still trying to put out this fire. It's a hard job, but it's our job, not yours. If you're in a fire, don't try to put it out. It's your job to get away. Here are some other don'ts to remember. Don't take time to save your toys or pets. Don't get in an elevator and don't ever, please, don't ever go back into a burning house. Fires can be very scary. Even firemen get scared sometimes. So it's only natural, kids would be scared too. Especially if they might have started the fire. But no matter what, no matter how scared you feel, never, never, ever hide. Don't hide, go outside. Can you remember that? Don't hide, go outside. If you see someone that looks like this, don't be scared. Firemen have to wear all this strange looking stuff to protect themselves, like masks to help them breathe. It makes us look and sound weird and scary. But really, we're not. So don't be afraid of us. Be afraid of fire. And remember, even if you're afraid, don't hide. Go outside. Don't hide, go outside. Get out the door and run. Be cool about fire safety. Smoke, the smoke detector here. And you know, I, hey, hey, up here, up here, point to the one who's talking. Boy, these cameramen don't know anything. Anyway, I have another cool rule about fire safety. Do you know how to escape a fire? No, you don't. I'll bet you don't. Well, would you believe you could learn the answer from a baby? You could. You really could. Just pay attention. Even they know, no matter how small, you gotta fall and you gotta crawl. If you get caught in a fire, here's what you should know. Get down on your knees and you remember, please, to keep your body low. You just got to crawl and crawl, that's all. And you get out of the fire. Crawl and crawl, that's all. number. Do you know yours? Quick! What's the number for 911? How do I know? Hello? <laughs> Mr. Repairman, all the machines in my house are acting weird. I mean, the vacuum cleaner is supposed to sound like... <laughs> but right now it sounds like... <laughs> marbles. And the blender... Well, last night the cat turned it on. <laughs> And the washing machine? Oh, forget about the washing machine. It sounds like... <laughs> Kids, could you answer the door, please? Thanks. Help! It's an emergency! Dad, it's Billy! It's an emergency! Hey, well, I have an emergency. My house is nuts! But, Mr. Winslow, my house is on fire! Why didn't you...
sing your say song. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. I have to call 911. Come on. 911, I have to report a fire. 18 Maple. You're on your way? Thanks. Don't worry, Billy. Pretty soon you'll be hearing. Mm -hmm. To report a fire, always go to a neighbor's house and call 911. Or your local emergency number. Ask a grown-up what number you should call. Don't hide! Go outside! Get out the door and run! You gotta race to a neighbor's place and dial 911. What would you do if you were on fire? I don't know, jump in a tub? No, you gotta stop, drop, and roll. Come on! If your clothes catch fire, you gotta drop to the ground. If your clothes catch fire, you gotta go round and round. You just stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Chuck, Sue, I'm pooped. The fire is finally under control. It took hours to put out what started in a couple of minutes. That house looks pretty bad. What's left of it? At least no one was hurt. This time, they had an escape plan. Great. That was smart. We've all got to work together to stop fires. That means you, Deputy Fire Marshals. Don't touch matches. If you see these, tell a grown-up right away. You gotta have a plan! Don't hide! Go outside! You gotta fall and you gotta crawl! Stop, drop, and roll! <laughs> hey! Holy smokes! What about me? Everyone should see more smoke detectors in their home! You're right, Seymour the Smoke Detector. See more smoke detectors. Learn these cool rules and you could be the deputy fire marshal in your home. And get your free deputy fire marshal's kit. Got that pencil? Write down this address or ask a grown-up to help you. See more smoke. Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. So long for now, deputy fire marshals. And remember, be cool about fire safety. Be cool about fire safety. Be cool. or ladders, tell a grown-up instead, you gotta have an escape plan, and you'll be a step ahead, <laughs> don't hide, go outside, get out the door and run, you gotta race to a neighbor's place and dial 911, be cool about fire safety, cool. if you don't wanna get burned, be cool about fire safety, you got a lot to learn. Smoke detectors do you have in your home? Count them! Be cool about fire safety. Be cool. If you don't want to get burned, be cool about fire safety. You got a lot to learn. Remember that when there's fire, there's going to be a lot of smoke. Be a lot of smoke. Fall and crawl and cover your mouth. Cause smoke can make you choke. Be